In this video, we will go through how to prepare samples for microbial analysis. To start, we process our food sample by weighing the appropriate amount onto a balance. In this case, we measured out 10 grams of lettuce. The lettuce is then added to a stomacher bag along with 40 mils of saline and this is done near a Bunsen burner to maintain the sterility of the saline solution. The sample is then homogenized using a stomacher machine. An aliquot of the stomached food sample is then taken for further analyses. In a serial dilution, a series of sequential dilutions are performed to dilute a food sample in a diluent, saline in this case. Serial dilutions are usually tenfold, but you can use any dilution factor that's convenient. By sequentially diluting the food sample, you reduce the bacterial concentration in each dilution. The goal is to obtain a dilution that produces an easily quantifiable number of CFU once plated. Typically, a range of 30 to 300 colonies is considered appropriate. Counts under 30 are not considered representative of the sample and over 300 CFU, colonies tend to grow into each other and cannot be accurately counted. The number of CFU and the total volume that was plated can be used to determine the bacterial concentration in the original food source. For example, a 1 in 10 cereal dilution occurs when one volume of your food sample is added to 9 volumes of the diluent. The first dilution is mixed and the process is repeated to continually dilute the previous dilution. As a result, multiple dilutions are created and the concentration of the food sample in the diluent becomes less and less with each new dilution. The most concentrated dilution is termed the 10 to the negative 1 dilution, and the second most is considered the 10 to the negative 2 dilution, and so on and so forth. A certain volume of each dilution, called the plating factor, in this case that'll be 0.1 mils, is plated onto the nutrient agar and the plates are then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours to allow any present bacteria to grow and form CFU. Plates that produce between 30 and 300 CFU are counted and are used to determine the bacterial concentration in the original food source. To quantify the total amount of bacteria in the food sample, use the following equation. Here, the dilution factor will be the degree to which the food was diluted in total. That is, the original dilution factor of 1 5th multiplied by the dilution series factor. To calculate the CFU per gram, divide the number of colony forming units by the dilution factor and then by the volume plated, otherwise known as the plating factor. As an example calculation, if the 10 to the negative 4 series dilution agar plate produced 54 CFU and you originally plated 0.1 mils of the 10 to the negative 4 dilution, then from the following calculation, the total bacterial concentration in the original food source would be 2.7 times 10 to the 7 CFU per mil. That concludes this week's demo. Make sure to watch next week's video where we will cover the importance of sanitation and the tests commonly used to verify and validate sanitation practices in the food processing environment.